labour should be the most natural thing that a woman can do with her body. So if my body's able to make a baby, it's certainly able to give birth to the baby. And I I want to be as relaxed as possible, but I don't know what I'm going to be like. I'm not naive. It is my first baby, so I'm not saying that I'm going to be perfect and I'm going to be calm. I'm carrying her, aren't I? I get to bond with her every day. I feel her move, I talk to her and stuff, but he's... I've been talking to him. Yeah, I mean, s since since I started so. showing, he Hello. talks to her, he Hello. reads books to her, he won't sing to her because he, he can't... Not a very good singer. He no. can't sing or dance, so he doesn't do those two things. But she responds to his voice now, and I think he really likes that. Unplug the phone, close the curtains, light the candles, play the CD, use oil for massage, and give me something to smell. Anything else you need me to do? You'd you know? never remember that if I didn't write it down. Offer me small snacks and drinks, don't ask me. All right, okay. Don't talk about anything else. Unless I encourage it. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me sound really bossy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not bossy, am I? No. I'm doing hypnobirthing, where I want a natural birth as possible. My mum and Paul are going to be my birth companions. Relax. My mum's role is to be the main person as to the hypnotherapy. Good girl. How loud do you want it? Mm. A, little a little bit louder, Paul, please. However, I don't want Paul to feel like he's in the background. Is that loud enough? Yeah. He won't be comfortable saying certain things like, you know, go with my mum's going to talk in her hypnotherapist voice, and he will feel quite silly. And if, if it's something that you're not comfortable doing, he's not really going to be much help to me. We do go through some of our classes a little bit about relaxation and we go through hypnobirthing and you can see in the group of people the ones that are completely out for the count listening to the whole CD and the other ones that look at you as if to say, what is this? Yes. Mum's going to be talking to me and telling me to relax and telling me what to visualise. Is that hard enough? Sammy's into this hypnobirthing which I hadn't heard anything about at all, so she's told me all about it. Um, there's various ways, but to me as a mum, I've picked out what I think she wants. Use your dial, darling. Use your dial. Three. Turn it down. Two. And one. Relax. I think some birthing partners, whether it's her husband or her boyfriend, sometimes it's her mother or her sister, and they are really keen to be involved and talking them through the contractions. And, you know, if, if they are doing that and that seems to be going well and there's a good relationship between them, they just feel that they've achieved it together. I do want a natural birth, so I'm going to just use paracetamol if I need gas and air, then I'll use it, but the plan is to not have anything at all, really. Good girl. Turn your dial. Labour should be the most natural thing that a woman can do with her body, so if my body's able to make a baby, it's certainly able to give birth to the baby, and I just think just let nature do its job. You're stretching your yeah. muscles, that's all it is, darling. Pretty good at this, you know. <laughs> you don't need any no, drugs. No, just remind me. Yeah, I will. Don't worry. You don't want anything. That was your stipulation. <laughs> that works. That does. Yeah, it does. You just have to stop panicking, sweetheart. Oh, I can't help it. It's so I strong. Know. I know it is. But what it is is, it's her, isn't it? It's just the baby. It's just your tummy stretching. I okay. Can't wait to meet her. <laughs> no. That's all baby. she's doing, sweetheart. Is your, is your tummy is stretching. So if you can just imagine, that's all that's happening. Your tummy is stretching. Okay? 
I don't necessarily think this track's very relaxing. <laughs> Turn it in off. Just... Oh, okay. Not in a Chinese restaurant. Oh, I don't even have to do that. Is it next? Come in. So strong. That's brilliant. It's coming. It's so strong. Yeah. That means she's getting closer. Hey? That means her tummy's stretching. It's so hot. You felt your water's boiling, babe. Yeah, but seriously, can't I have a half a pepper then or something? Just keep me going. No, 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 it's not easy, no, it's not easy, no! It's not, it's not easy, no! Now you listen to me. No, I want. You listen to me. I want to help just half. No, please, Mum. Listen to me. You right, You asked me to be strong for you. Now listen, you're just panicking, sweetheart. That's all. Just relax, babe. She's nearly here, babe. just panicking, darling. You've got all your dreams, you want to do this as natural as yeah. possible. If you had a curry last night. <laughs> There's nothing that I wouldn't want the baby not to inherit from Paul because he's annoying things are what I love about him and what makes me laugh. You feel anything? There isn't anything because he hasn't got a bad bone in his body. Something coming then. All of a sudden, I just had this almighty urge to become a mum, and I wanted his children. It's weird. It's like it happened overnight. Yeah. You happy? How happy she's gonna be? Mm -hmm. How happy do you think? Yeah. There is an age gap between us, but we don't see it as a, an age gap at all. You know, it's what 19 years yeah. age gap, isn't it? But you know, we we don't even think about it. You'd think it was the other way around, anyway. Yeah. Because I'm so mature. She's the more mature one, I'm the stupid one. <laughs> but, it's, but everyone that meets me says, oh, you know, I can't believe you're in your 20s. And um, I remember when I was 21, someone said, you're 21, going on 40. And I am. Just your tummy. Yeah. It's nothing scary. Pressure just, on my bum. It's just your... Oh, sure, well, maybe your baby's ready to come. Don't push it. 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 First, you yeah. behave. Yeah. Yeah. And you just wait for Katie to look at you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Such a mummy yeah, thing to she say. Might be okay. Slow, so don't push it. Be near here, yeah. Right, little push. Little, little push. push. Little push. That's it. There she comes. And pant. Pant, darling, pant. All right, and little push. Got chins out, nearly. Little pant. push. Is a chin little out? Little push, darling. Chins out, okay. Chins out. Okay, <laughs> love you, Oh. She's looking for some more. Oh, you are so good. Yeah. You don't frown. You did it, darling. Look at you. <laughs> so proud know. of you. So well. We started trying for, for a baby about two and a half years ago. Um, and then we had complications. We had a miscarriage. Um, and then from there on, we just... Uh, Tried a couple more times. We had four miscarriages in total. Okay. Uh, they've not given us any reason why we've miscarried. Um, they've done a lot of tests, but um, they all come back. There's, there's nothing wrong. It just felt like our relationship was on hold because, you know, the natural progression was trying for a baby, but then suddenly, you know, it was halted in its tracks. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carol. Wait, so we need to run this to check baby out. OK. And what time was it you noticed it, you said? Oh, well, about, oh, about an hour ago now, wasn't it? Yeah. And I just felt, it was, literally just felt like his head just like pushed down. That's what it kind of felt like. And yes. I was like, oh. And then I saw the blood there. Yes. And bright red. Just phoned up straight away. Come in. Yeah. OK. We always wanted a family. It's the next chapter, really. Being together for quite a while, then moving in with each other. You know, marriage, children, children, marriage. It's just really important to us. If my waters are broken or contractions or something, at least I'd kind of know this yeah. is a bit scary. This is all a bit different, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. Right, I guess we started trying for, for a baby about two and a half years ago. Um, and then we had complications. We had a miscarriage. Um, and then from there on, we just uh, 
tried a couple more times. We had four miscarriages in total. Okay. Uh, they've not given us any reason why we've miscarried. Um, they've done a lot of tests, but um, they all come back because there's, there's nothing wrong. It just felt like our relationship was on hold because, you know, the natural progression was trying for a baby, but then suddenly, you know, it was halted in its tracks. Then we decided we were going to wait until the start of this year, start of 2010, and then on New Year's Day we found out we were pregnant. <laughs> and this is where this one's come from. Boy or a girl? Boy. A little boy? Yeah. Has he got a name? <laughs> Jack. Jack. Yeah. Lovely. Right, this is going to be a bit cold, we're going to start here. Okay. So I think they'll find that that's Jack. That's yeah. Really strong, isn't it? Yeah. Very. See on the screen? The orange figures. Yeah. The orange bar is the call bell. It's if, you know, it seems to change on the screen and he's not moving or you suddenly feel a big blood loss. Obviously, anything you're worried about, yeah. just give a buzz. Oh, thank you. I'm going to move it round, cos... Mm. Well, you know, you're blocking the numbers. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so inconsiderate. This is the furthest pregnant you've ever been, and, you know, even though, like, you know, we're almost there, it's just still, like, you know, that worry's still there. You just think something's going to happen, something's going to go wrong. You assume something's going to go wrong the whole way through. I think we'd just be so relieved when, you know, the baby's born and hopefully, you know, 100% yeah. all right. But, um, yeah, no, it's, that was tough. It's been tough. Reassuring, just hearing his heartbeat, though. Mm. Starting to worry. There's nothing to worry about. I've always wanted to, to be a mum and to see my sisters have kids and just the way they are, I just think, oh, I just oh, love it. But then, obviously, with all the miscarriages, it was really hard. The first one was definitely the hardest because you just don't expect it. Um, especially where we went right up to three months and everyone says, when you get to 12 weeks, you know, everything will be fine. But um, when we got to the scan, they said, there's nothing there, it's just kind of empty inside. Everything else had grown for the baby to grow into, but the baby had, had died. Um, it was just heartbreaking. You just think you've done something wrong, and then you think, well, what could I have done wrong? And they, the doctors say there's just nothing they can do. You've just been unlucky. Obviously, it's like a whole grieving process, and you have to get through that. And it happens again and again and again. Can't describe how it feels. Jordan's been brilliant the whole way through. I can't imagine what he's thinking sometimes. I think he's just as worried as me, but he stays really calm for me. When the doctors come oh. see you quickly. Well, that cervix is just being a little bit stubborn. Yeah. I do suggest starting the syntocin on. You're thinking about an epidural. Mm -hmm. That's fine. He doesn't care what happens to her with regards to, you know, the whole process of the labour. Um, she's just worried about the baby coming safely, but... You know, I worry about her as well. That's good, you're gonna feel me pushing around your hips a bit. You know, four miscarriages did knock us sideways. Just the hurt and the emotion out of it, you know, it was very difficult. Okay, that's all right, the needle's out of your back, so... You know, Amy would be very good at opening up to me, you know, and having the cry. I know the thing she used to get frustrated would be that I didn't open up very much to her. Um, you know, it's the way I've always been, you know, I'd, I'd be nice and strong for her, you know, not show any tears, anything like that. And then, you know, I would then go and have a cry in my car on the way to work or on the way home from work. I didn't want her to see me um, in that way because I wanted to stay strong for her. Well done, that's good. Yeah. Takes a nice big breath on the gas there. Yeah. You know, when he's here, that's when it'll feel like a victory that, you know, we overcome all of that. Okay. Go in. Yeah. 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 Well done. Come in. Hello there, hi. Hello. 
Yeah. I'm Auntie, I'm one of the senior registrars here. I've come because uh, Judy's examined you and the cervix is still not dilated, totally as 10 centimetres. Okay. Time to deliver, I think. Okay. What? You're yeah. contracting well, you're doing all the right things, you're doing all the right things, but... She's not coming out. She's <laughs> just stuck at that point. So. Okay. What I've written here is emergency cesarean section, failure to progress first stage, that's the cervix is stuck at that point. Yeah. Right. We're going to go with the same epidural. You will be seeing Rebecca. So we will start making our way to the interview. Okay, thank you. Thank you. God, I'm so nervous. God knows what you must be feeling like. It's supposed to be cut open, so I'm not nervous. comes in here starts crying. <laughs> They've had enough by then, haven't they? That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. All right. It's Jordan, isn't it? It is, yeah. Deep breath, babe. All right. Yeah. Oh, no, you're going to have to stop this crying because you're going to look ten times worse in your photos when they're taken. <laughs> right then. I'll see you again when it's baby time, OK? Have you named your little boy yet? What's his name? Yeah. Good name. Okay, when you're ready. Oh, bit of pulling. Okay. Yeah. That's really good. Well done. Do you remember me telling you that's going to yeah. be really good? One more bit like that in a minute. And then we're going to have a baby. Deep breaths. Well done. See? You did really well with that. Fabulous. Well done. Lovely. Well done. You're <laughs> Keep your eyes here. <laughs> Hello, welcome, baby Jack. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> you did really well. Oh. <laughs> Every time we've been pregnant, we, we just think, right, keep positive, keep positive. If we keep positive, then, you know, hopefully we get there in the end. We've had to keep positive quite a few times and for a few pregnancies and try and block out all the bad stuff. <laughs> Going through all of that, and then at the end of it, you know, we got Jack now. It's brilliant. <laughs> it is just like you know, almost three years. Three years, and we've got what you know, what we've always dreamt of. After we found out um, it was twins, we found out that um, one of them had um, a problem called gastroschisis, um, where the stomach grows on the outside of the stomach wall, so it's um, on the outside, basically. Um, and it basically it grows out of the umbilical cord, um, where the hole's slightly larger, so some of like the insides grow out with it. Um, they said that sometimes um, there can be an operation involved um, where if the, the hole that it's come out of has got too small and too much has come out, then um, they have to make that hole slightly larger and they said that uh, most of the time it, it, does, it can go in on its own and it can be quite simple. At school, I was thirteen. Well, I was fifteen. Yeah, <laughs> and we've like we've been together ever since. We've never broken up or anything. Mm, nothing. Yeah, yeah, that's it really. Yeah, nothing special. You want your dressing gown on now? Um, oh, you look tired. Did you not get much sleep? I did. Like, I got to sleep quite easy actually. But then you did, um, yeah. I kept waking up. I was really ill for like two weeks and I thought I was right, dying, yeah. like literally. I thought like I was on my deathbed <laughs> and like everyone was worried. And then um, my mum said, oh, you know, just like cancel it out, just see, like do a pregnancy test. And like, I was doing them and it's saying that I wasn't. But um, then I'd read on the packet that you're supposed to do them in the morning. And I'd be doing them at night. <laughs> but then I'd done one in the morning and it said I was pregnant. It's all right if I feel what you tell me. Yeah. Pop your legs down. Oh, that's it. I had a phone call and then I always remember Adam saying, uh, oh, Sophia has got some news for you. And I thought, oh my God, you know, what's, what's going on? So anyway, 
adventure, Sophia said to me, yeah, it's just twins. And I thought, oh, my God. Wow. It was just a numb feeling. It still is, really. So, um, which side's which? One's her two. So is that twin one? They call yeah. this one twin one. This yeah? one's twin one, and yeah. this one's twin two, and I had to. Okay, so that one's transverse. Yeah. Or was transverse. Find yeah. now. I was having twins at the first scan. Yeah, that was the shock. That was like the biggest shock of the whole thing. Two girls. <laughs> he was well, guys. What a guy. I know he was. <laughs> we expected at least one of each, didn't we? No, it would have been nice. Well, yeah. I suppose you get it out of the way, didn't you? If you have one boy and one girl, because that's what most people like. After we found out um, it was twins, we found out that um, one of them had um, a problem called gastroschisis, um, where the stomach grows on the outside of the stomach wall, so it's um, on the outside, basically. Um, and it basically it grows out of the umbilical cord, um, where the hole's slightly larger, so some of like the insides grow out with it. Um, they said that sometimes um, there can be an operation involved, um, where if the, the hole that it's come out of has got too small and too much has come out, then um, they have to make that hole slightly larger. And they said that uh, most of the time it, it, does, it can go in on its own and it can be quite simple. The baby with the problem has to go into special care and the other baby will stay with Sophia. Any mum, whether you know there's something wrong or not, you're just totally anxious anyway, aren't you? It's even like giving birth, oh my God, you know, first time mum, at alone giving labour for the first time, at alone having twins, and then one of the babies having a problem. So mixing all that up, that brew, it's either you've got to keep her on par, or she could totally go into a depression. Scrubs. Mm -hmm. Scrubs. They're not sure who's going in yet, whether mum's yeah. staying in or not. It makes mind up the size of the scrub. I think my mum needs to be in the room mm. with me if I was cesarean. I'm sure that, yeah, it was that one. I reckon yeah. my, I want my mum in there. No offence. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. if, if, um, if Adam. It's what she to wants. You. Yeah. Don't worry about. Sophia wants me to go in with her. <coughs> but I think it'd be good for Sophia and Adam to be together. Reality will hit them both, and, and it's the case of like, wow, this is what's happened, and the emotions that go with it. I just find it's just an experience that Adam shouldn't miss at all. You're not going to see a lot because there will oh, be. I'm not, worried about, I'm not worried about that. What are you worried about? I don't know. <laughs> That's what you're worried about. <laughs> oh, no, I've seen stuff not like that. I've seen face-to-face. We'll, to we'll face. take Sophie around and we'll come and get you when she's mm. settled and she's ready. Mm. We won't take you straight away and you won't see any needles going in or anything. We'll come and get you when it's all, all the sheets are up. You can just sit down next to her head. Um, Is that going to be all right for you? I think so. I think I'll be able to manage, yeah. OK. Yeah? Yeah. I don't think you should miss out, cos you're... I think, I think you'll regret it if you... Yeah, if you don't mean it like that, I mean, you've got her in that position, you go in there as well. <laughs> yeah, that's a way of looking at yeah. it. You've got away with murder so far. Yeah. Are we able to follow down the say goodbye at the or not? Or do you rather say? Yeah. So what, do I need to bring anything? No. Just yourself. Can I come down now? I'll oh, I'll be there in a minute. Yeah. I'll, I'll be there in a minute. Oh, he'll be coming in a minute. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, darling. Yeah. Good luck. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to go and get things ready. You need to relax your shoulders. <laughs> All right? Just and then when I come round, we'll just get things ready behind you and pop this in. All right? Yeah. Of course, I'm not going to do anything without talking to you. All right? Don't look so worried. Can you just try and relax? Like, I'm really bad at pain. And I don't like having medicine. Say if like I was going on holiday and I had to have an injection for like, you it's know, be done. It's got like be malaria done. or something. I would rather not go on holiday. What? Oh, I thought you were going to say if it needs to be done, you'd do it. No. <laughs> Do 
so you're still going to feel pushing like that, okay? But it's not going to feel sharp or cold, right? It just feels a bit weird. No, it's just going to feel slightly odd, all right? Okay, off we go. Bye bye. Is she all right? Yeah. You've been, you've been there, are you? Pardon? You've been there. I'll be there. Yes. No, has she had the injection in the back yet? Yes, hold on. Oh. Good luck, Adam. Cheers. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Piers, I didn't want to say in front of him, though, but my body went into shock. Yeah, so it took like two hours to turn me up. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Just uh... nervous? Yeah. Not going to faint, are you? I don't think so. I don't know. With her blood and that, I'm all right. As long as it's not mine, as long as then I'm good. Mm. It depends like, how much pain she's going through. She's going through a lot, then I think probably. What are you going to do? Tell her. <laughs> it gives me a muff just to sort of drown <laughs> it out so it doesn't <laughs> seem as bad. Oh, shut up. Uh, I reckon it'll be really annoying. I just, I just want to be like this bit to be over now. Okay. Yeah. Is that why you're not talking much? Mm. Do you want me to talk or not? You can talk to me, but just don't ask me those okay. questions. Okay. Mm. In a little while, you're going to feel a bit of pushing on the top of your tummy. So a bit more stretching. Oh. Well done. Yeah, That's you're really right. good. Yeah. It's heavy on my stomach. A lot of pulling down oh. below. Okay. Oh, oh, that feels there. really horrible. <laughs> I think it could be going through worse. Okay, a lot of pressure. The waters have gone now. Can you hear all that? Oh, God. Oh, I'm just going to feel a bit of pushing. Your first one's out. First one's out. Um, oh, really nice. Baby up. Deep breath. Okay, baby's coming. Nice big breath. That's lovely. Well done. All right, I'm just going to get them all warmed up, all covered up. Yeah. You did really well. Okay, congratulations. Cheers. <laughs> There she okay. goes. I'm just leveling the bed out. <laughs> I'm just feeling... Yeah, no, it's fine, yeah. 